Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging kaya sa sinakanan, alam ng puso sa hindi ko'y buhay. Upang hinihang tuyag ka ng magiging sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatang tutok sa simoy at sa langit mo. Mr. President, I, Ian Kate Banato Villanueva, Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, member of the graduating class 2021 of the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines, hereby petition to confer to us the degree and titles we rightfully merit. Whereas we, the members of class 2021, have successfully complied with all the academic requirements and other essential requisites in compliance to our respective program policies, standards, guidelines set by the Commission on Higher Education, whereas we upheld the vision, mission, philosophy, educational objectives, graduate attributes, and imbibe the core values of our beloved institution. Whereas our beloved institution has provided us with exemplary academic programs and co-curricular activities, developing our lifelong learning skills ready to face future challenges in our respective chosen professions. Whereas, the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines has continuously provided us with adequate, relevant, responsive, and sufficient related learning experience in compliance to the set standards of the Professional Regulation Commission. Whereas, our mighty institution has provided in our course of study varied learning programs necessary to prepare us to contribute to nation building. Wherefore, with all this full compliance of necessary requisites, I, Ian Kate Banata Villanueva, representing the graduating class 2021 of the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines, do hereby petition Mr. Christian R. Guzman, OIC President, to confer to us the degrees and titles we rightfully merit. Mr. President, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the following degrees and titles from the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines. Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology. Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology. Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. Caregiving NC2 course. And also, I have the honor to present to you the candidates for the following degrees and titles for the International School of Asia and the Pacific. Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Bachelor in Secondary Education. Bachelor of Science in Social Work. Bachelor of Science in Criminology. Bachelor of Science in Customs Administration. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Bachelor of Science in Tourism. Once again, Mr. President, the candidates for graduation batch 2021. Mr. President, since all the candidates presented have fulfilled all the requirements prescribed for their courses of study, I respectfully request that they be accepted and merited. 
by virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines and the International School of Asia and the Pacific, and the power vested by the Commission on Higher Education, I, Christian Roa Guzman, President, MCNP, ISAP, now confer on you the degrees, titles, and diplomas you rightfully merit. Having conferred on you your degrees, titles, and diplomas, I now ask you, mighty eagles, to virtually transfer your tassel from left to right. Once again, congratulations and soar high, mighty eagles. To the members of the Board of Trustees, headed by their chairman, Madam Welma Roa Guzman, to our energetic OIC president, Sir Christian R. Guzman, to all the members of the administrators, faculty, and staff of these mighty institutions, parents, graduating students, friends, gentlemen and ladies, good morning. It is with great pride and honor to introduce to you today our guest speaker for this year's commencement exercises of the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines and the International School of Asia and the Pacific. His notable skills and knowledge are an impressive factor for all of such as he is a highly skilled in public relations, networking, events management, sales and training, social media management and advertising, content writing, customs mediators, and in logistics and freight forwarding operations. He is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Customs Administration in this institution, the International School of Asia and the Pacific, in the year 2009, and landed as the second national top-notcher in the Customs Broker Licensure Examination. He pursued his graduate studies at the International Academy of Management and Economics with the degree Master of in Business Administration, major in International Trade and Customs Management in the year 2011. And in 2014, he earned his diploma in Financial Management at National University of Singapore, and he was then a TradeNet certified by the Singaporean government, in which it is a certificate that allows an individual authorized by the declaring agent to do any act or thing for the purposes of the Government Customs Act, Regulations of Imports and Exports Act or any regulations made under or there under on behalf of the declaring agent. His professional engagement delve himself to do what an eagle is. He immense himself as, an li as a licensed customs broker and an import and export manager of foremost international freight forwarders incorporated from 2010 to 2012. He was then a sea import operations executive and a customs declaring agent of all, M all port cargo services logistics limited at 11 Sims Drive, Singapore from 2012 to 2017. At present, he is engaged in the following career. He is an independent associate of a US-based or Dubai-based uh, direct selling. He is an entrepreneur and is a logistics consultant of Catalyst Lifestyle Limited, a Hong Kong-based company. Let us all welcome our guest speaker for this year's commencement exercises, a Philippine licensed customs broker and a logistics operations executive and a Singaporean trade net uh, certified, Mr. Maynard John B. Antonio. A virtual round of applause. Everyone sits down to a banquet of consequences. As a man sows, so shall he reap. Today is your graduation day and should be a significant day for the graduates and parents, as well as the educators and mentors, which we must celebrate because today is the fruit of all your collected efforts. Good morning, everyone. It is my great honor to be speaking to you today as your graduation speaker. It may not be the usual graduation ceremony, but I hope we are all getting the substance today 
of what you have to see, hear, and receive. You know, it has been my dream that one day I'll be speaking in a graduation ceremony in my alma mater. And true enough, that whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. I'd like to begin paying tribute to these names who are part and parcel to what to who I have become today. I start with our Father Eagle, Dr. Ronald P. Guzman, the person who dreamed of bridging the opportunity for the less privileged individuals to land to a better life through accessible education. Thank you, Dr. Guzman, for this legacy of impacting generations. Next thing, I want to honor Doc, the late Dr. Edmund Halbe, the former Vice President for Academic Affairs. I do much remember him because he always called me saying, dream dreams and dream big dreams, pushing everyone's limit. And he's saying always to do ordinary things extraordinarily well. Thirdly, I want to highlight and honor every graduate, every parent, family, administrator, mentor, and every reason why we are gathered in this virtual event today. I don't know about you, but when it, when it was my time to graduate, I really didn't feel happy about it. I was so attached with everything I was doing in school and with all the people who I built relationship with. But more than that, I really didn't want to leave school. Why? I was so anxious of what is to happen next. Other than prepare for my board exam, finding a job, it is the thing that I am about to graduate as well, being my parents' scholar. So, mawawala na yung allowance ko. Who here feels the same way? Wala nang allowance after graduation. But thinking of these issues after I graduate, where do I go? Where do I fit in? Or will there be even any place that will accept me and pay for me a decent living? Or if you may think of this, Oh no, hindi ko ginalingan ng college. Pasang awa lang ako. My transcript of record appears a disaster. How can I even get a job? What about those dreams? Are they worlds apart from reality? May drawing na lang ba? And added to these concerns, it is this pandemic that is even making life no easier for everyone. So the question is, ano nang mangyari sa buhay ko? Saan ako pupulutin? Right? You know, in this world, there, there really is a law of cause and effect. We reap what we sow. The energy we put out really does come back to us. We cannot sow negative and reap positive. Malabo yun. Parang bulok na binhi na itinanim mo, for sure hindi yan magbubunga. <laughs> lalo hindi tutubo. Mabubulok lalo yon at magiging lupa. Now, can you say to yourself, hindi ako bulok? Lalong lalo na hindi ako mabubulok. And this is very important. Begin with the end in mind. Begin seeing the things that you want for yourself. Ponder on the things that you want instead of acknowledging, welcoming, and entertaining your fears. Let your faith rule over your fear. You will soon hear this question when you go and apply for work. How do you see yourself five years from now? And does this question even matter? Sure, yes. How we see ourselves is like setting up our direction in life. Your identity is vital. What do you see in yourself? Who are you? Now, I'd like to pause a bit so you can ask yourself these questions. And I'd like you to answer seriously for yourself. Who are you? What do you see in yourself? What was the thing that uh, first thing that came into your mind? If Panian MJ ang sagot ko, ako si um, Peter, average, hindi katalinuhan, pasang awa lang, medyo tamad, walang direction, di ko alam ang gagawin sa buhay, at konti lang ba akong English para tapos mahirap akong hindi. Well, stop from there. This is what I mean that your identity is vital. What you see from the inside is what you can see in the outside. In the same token, what we want to see outside, you must conceive it from the inside. Now, do you want to see yourself succeeding? 
sow seeds of greatness in you through your thoughts. Because those thoughts, those thoughts then are translated into action. Know that we have all the abilities to design our desired reality in our lives. Like our body is like a computer. It, ha it has a hardware and a software. Our software comprises of our mindsets and beliefs. Whatever software we inject in our body, our body will respond and will act on it. Growing up as a person, I had many insecurities. People had no idea that I was introvert because it was contra contrary to what they see. And I had always portrayed myself as someone who has no fear when it comes to speaking. I can say that my communication skills was not that good. I was even afraid raising my hand and be called up for a recitation. Why? Bakit ganon? Kasi matatalini yung mga classmates ko at hindi ako kagalingan sa speaking. That's the truth. At baka pagtawanin nila ako or kung anong isipin nila kasi mag-grower on grammar ako. Did my thinking affect my behavior? My performance? Yes, it did. Now, how did I overcome that? I acted as a person that I wanted to see. I gave birth from the inside a confident and courageous NJ who can conquer the world. And with consistent practice and self-affirmation na kaya ko to, magaling ako, it has already become a norm that I am what I say I am despite of my lack of competence. Conceive in your mind the person that you wanted to be. Faith it until you make it. If you know yourself possessing great skills and attitude, grow it. But if not, possess it. Start treating your mind, um, planting the seeds of greatness, the person that you want to be. It takes your decision who is the person that you want to pursue. Or do you still want to be the average person, the old person full of negativities with no intention of overcoming it? Now, here is the important truth. Do not use your words to describe the situation, but use your words to change the situation. This is the power of words written by our tongue, which is a mighty weapon that can build or destroy a person. How do I say that? One time, pumunta ka sa sukti mo, sabihin mo lang, Uy, pumabata ka, gumaganda ka ata. You know what? That will make up her day. Believe me, that is the power of affirmation. And that works to us as well. Friends, I'm sharing these things which at least I have practiced consistently throughout my journey in life. You know, when I was enrolling in Customs Administration on my entry as freshman, uh, one of these staff said to me, words that has split me from enrolling to nursing. Sabi niya, kung sa customs ka, isang pirma mo lang, yaman ka na. Guess what happened next? I decided to enroll immediately this course. And that was a sudden mind shift. Biglang nasilaw sa sinabi niya. But the more significant thing that he said was, kung ikaw, magtatap ka sa board exam, sa akin ang isang lechon mo. I was a lover of rewards and challenges. So that lechon is stuck in my mind. Kaya first year pa lang, alam niyong ginawa ko, I posted an affirmation in my schedule next to my bed. Nakasulat doon, I am a 2009 Customs Brokers Licensure Exam Top Notcher, National Top Notcher, SEM after SEM. And that is what I was always seeing in my book. You know what? I asked for number three, but God exceeded and placed me second in the board exam. That's the power of affirmation that can define your identity and what your future will be like. The description we put after the words I am is very crucial. In fact, this is the kept, uh, kept secret of juice. This is very interesting because this race is always set apart as they have always the greatest number of wealthiest men on earth. Ngayon, anong sekreto nila? Jewish culture has revolved around the power of uttered blessing from the parents down to their children since young. They blessed their children with the words of affirmation. How? Example, um, si Peter, <laughs> anak, when you grow up, you become the owner of a huge bank 
before you become the owner of the big export company in the Philippines. And you know what? Um, you see now the difference? Back it. Because we often hear from our parents, anak, when you grow up, you'll be working for this bank. You'll be working for this company. Right? Well, there's nothing wrong about that. I have nothing against that and no intention to offend or undermerit anyone. But you know what? There is always be- something better than good. Don't settle for less. Dream dreams and dream bigger dreams. I am a firm believer of this because at least I have experienced this from my mother. Going back to my journey in my board exam preparation during my review days and I was still staying in, my, in, in our house, My mom will go to my room and check me if I'm already up. Missing na ako. Then she will always say this: "Missing na bang ba anak kong top notcher?" And she said that consistently. Then you know now was the next story of this, yeah. But how I wish you know how I wish na sinabi niya she should have added to her declaration, "Missing na bang ba anak kong billionaire?" Diba? So I should have uh, I should be billionaire at this moment. You know, because of this truth, I began declaring blessings over my children through my words. These words are mighty seeds. And the more seeds that you sow, of course, the greater harvest that you will have. I have also taught my eldest uh, child to do daily affirmations. And my child literally does it every day. Use your words to change your situation and not to describe it. Yes, mahirap after graduation, mahirap, challenging, mahirap magharap ng work. There's always a competition, it's a judge kanila. There's politics, surplus of labor, lack of opportunities, so on and so forth. But stop speaking negative stuff or whatever we think and other through our words come into life. So take your tongue, my friends. Curses and blessings are at the tip of our tongue. Remember this. Whatever we utter to our words come into life. Now, after this graduation is your season that you find the best place for yourself under the sun. Here's the huge challenge that you will face. The question is, how will you deal with it? And what words do you speak before your situation? There will always be two roads in your journey. One is the road for the defeated, and the other one is for the overcomer. One is for the overcomer and for the thriving. One is for the thriving and the other one is for the overflowing. Now, choose the road that you want to go. Because living life is intentional. Decide which way you want to go. Despite the anxieties, I know that you're all excited to explore the world and start working and experience earning a living for yourself. This goes the same with my case. When I jumped into my first job, it was beyond my expectation. The reality in the world kicked in and I was culture shocked to have my first hand experience to be in the field. Sabi ko sarili ko, tama pa tong pinasok ko. I had to get up very early in the morning, travel five times from my place to my workplace. That even if I was young and starting in life, that was physically draining for me. Ito, especially after receiving my first salary, grabe, I started to describe that making a living is no way easy. I also began completing the, the numbers and years of how long will it take for me to reach my dream. And you know what? The result was it's going to take me after life to hit my target. And that's really grossly discouraging, isn't it? You know, this happens for most people. And sadly, most people often give up and, ac- and just accept what the realities offer to them until they blend into the majority of people living to get by. And this is so true for most people. They forget their dreams which they set when they were younger. I know this what separates the successful people from the majority other than their mindset is their desire to succeed. My question is, Why should you even dream? What is in it for you to dream? And this is very much personal question, but it's very important to sit down and ask yourself 
Why am I doing things that I am doing? Why should I graduate in college to get a degree? Why should I find a living? Why should I chase after my goal? Years after my graduation, I was chasing everyone's most demanded commodity. What is that? Success. I was so driven by the world, what the world says that I should be. I was bombarded by the pressure that I must have this and have that. I must be this person. And success to me is equated at the same level as having much money, influence, and fame. I engage in the tough labor to create the image that I want the people to see in me, a very successful person. I was more concerned by what others say about me more than me fulfilling my purpose. And the more I chase after success, the more that my inner self dries up. I know that that was something, that there was something that is not right. I was dropping my purpose, what am I on? Uh, honored for that am I living to work or am I li- working to live you know majority of people in the world cannot give a clear articulate purpose for their existence and the vision for their life I was once with them and it took me years for me to figure out what am I here on what am I here on earth for why am I sharing this with you a lot of times, we are clouded with the mission of making money or provision and possess the things which most people have, that we forget our vision and purpose. I'd like you to know that God has placed us on this planet with a unique purpose and destiny. And God loves to reveal it to us, the purpose of which He created us. And there's only one person who could fulfill that, and that is you. No one else but you. So. Let us not be like the most people who left this planet with those dreams unrealized, talents and skills that were not used, inventions that were not made, and songs that were not written because of a failed mission in life. There is only one lifetime that we can live. So instead of pursuing the provision, pursue your God-given vision. And money will just naturally follow your vision. And that is the truth. It is, not lack, it is not the lack of money that people perish, but it is the lack of vision. No vision, no provision. So this means to obtain your provision, your money is to pursue and clarify vision. So dear graduates, do not be stuck in the merry-go-round of life of making money to get by. Fulfill your calling and destiny. This time, you know, a fulfilled calling and God-given destiny is now what I call a true success. Being surrounded with mentors and life coaches have helped me, has helped me to, to get into how I live my life today with this perspective and mindset. And this is critical in your life journey, having mentors and coaches. Like what the saying goes, tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are. So be cautious of who you associate yourself with. Remember, the world revolves in a law of cause and effect, right? We are the average of five people that we associate ourselves most of the time, including the way we, you walk, talk, act, think, and dress. So choose wisely. Seek excellence and elevate yourself. Associate yourself with people that inspire you, challenge you to to rise higher, people who make you better. And don't waste your time with people who are not adding to your growth. Be a lover of wisdom. Love wisdom and she will make you great. Embrace her and she will make or she will bring you honor and riches. Never stop learning. Invest in yourself. Instead, uh, rather than investing in material things, invest first in yourself. And the material things will follow. Develop your skills, character, leadership. Be contented with what you have, but you should never be contented with who you could become. And above all, seek after the author of life. Because he knows best about you and he knows best for you. 
seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and everything that includes everything that you make uh, that make you anxious like food shelter car career relationship what else um car your dreams and just seek after his kingdom and righteousness and everything shall be added every seed brings forth fruits after its own kind so keep sowing greatness in yourself remind yourself that remind yourself that you are what you say you are you have what you say you have do not seek after provision but fulfill your god-given vision and purpose and provision will follow seek excellence and noble things be intentional and make your life significant And as I end, I'd like to honor and acclaim the admin and staff of NCNP and ISAP for sustaining the culture of values and excellence and for keeping alive the purpose and vision of our late Father Eagle. For President, Mr. Christian Guzman, Executive Vice President, Madam Wilma Roa Guzman, Vice President for Admin and Finance, Attorney Cristina Natividad, members of the board, deans and program coordinators, instructors, the admin and staff. To all parents, my deep appreciation for all of your sacrifices for your children. And finally, to you, my dear graduates, the world awaits you. Go forth and start to serve. Show the world what you've got because God is with you. Congratulations and mabuhay tayong lahat. Mabuhay and good day. I have the honor to present to you the graduates of Batch 2021 from the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines and International School of Asia and the Pacific. Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology. Abana Monabel P. Igig Cagayan. Agapito Armando Jr. P. Malig Isabella. Aguilar Charmaine Vea V. Rizal Kalinga Alcueno Mayrel Fatima A. Nagilian Isabella Alindayu CJR Gamu Isabella Arau Jamila May S. Tugegarao City Cagayan Bakay Frazy Angela Igig Cagayan Barsatan King Christian J. Apari, Cagayan Bautista John Jeffrey T. Tugegarao City, Cagayan Bawagan Irish Valeri B. Tabuk City, Kalinga Blanza Aileen C. San Guillermo Isabella Bukayo Ma Shiril S. Tugegarao City, Cagayan Bumatay, Sheila May D. Apari, Cagayan Kagurangan, Orly A. Tugegarao City, Cagayan Kalagi, Marshall V. A. Peña Blanca, Cagayan Calzada, Kerwin V. Kawayan City, Isabella Carolino, Larry Joy R. Benito Soliven Isabella Castillo Cheryl G. Kawayan City Isabella Katilod Eric P. Tuao Cagayan Katindoy Krisha May T. City of Ilagan Isabella Coronado Diana M. Tugegarao City Cagayan Cuarteros Belmari Philren C. Tugegarao City Cagayan Dalire, April Joy D. Alakapan, Cagayan. Danug, Rayan B. Tuwao, Cagayan. De La Cruz, Krisha May G. Tugegarao City, Cagayan. De La Cruz, Princess Lewin S. Solana, Cagayan. De Lector, Jayan J. B. Lalo, Cagayan. Eredera Hana Fake Tumawini Isabella Frias Edralin Joy C 
San Manuel Isabela Gumiran Mark Brian T. Kabagan Isabela Lakbao IVS Connor Apayao Malaban Yasmin D. Solana Cagayan Malilin Marvin Lloyd P. Tugegarao City Cagayan Malilin Ma Visitacion T. Tugegarao City Cagayan Mejia John Mark Irvin D. Santo Tomas Isabela Montes Rosan D. Vasco Batanes Naliu Josana T. Asipulo Ifugao Olivas Maria Cristina G. Abulog Cagayan Ordoño June Paul A. Gamu Isabela Pagirigan Gawis M. Tumawini Isabela Pagulayan Zaira C. Solana Cagayan Palatao Jessica May Angeles Apari Cagayan Peñalver Aira Iderlina S. Tugegarao City Cagayan Ponce Nicole Andrea L. Tugegarao City Cagayan Kilang Doni Kojar T. Pamplona Cagayan Robinion Christian L. Tugegarao City Cagayan Robles Bill Paulo H. Rojas Isabela Rodilios Cheryl A. Alakapan Cagayan Sahonia Reya V. Alicia Isabela Sales Shevani P. Lasam Cagayan Salvador Karen May G. Quirino Isabela Sangab Queenie Miracle P. Solana Cagayan Cyril Mark Francis P. Delfin Albano Isabela Serkinia Elizabeth U. Tugegarao City Cagayan Soriano Kirby Antonio Tuwao Cagayan Takata Cassandra IVC Sagunday Quirino Tamot Nemalin A. Tugegarao City Cagayan Takdek Regine A. Ballesteros Cagayan Tawagon Shari Macy Pinukpuk Kalinga Torres Divine D Santa Maria Isabela Vinegas Vivian G Tuwao Cagayan Villanueva Ian Kate B Tugegarao City Cagayan Villoria Nelson Paulo P Kamalanyugan Cagayan Wallis Kate S Tabuk City Kalinga Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy Antonio Katrina S Tugegarao City Cagayan Barba Ma Filipina O Tugegarao City Cagayan Bolanio Ma Claricel P Santa Ana Cagayan Francisco Kiera Isabel P Tugegarao City Cagayan Maniego Marian Missy D Tuwao Cagayan Raragor Carolina Q Solana Cagayan Rosete Vernalisa P Gonzaga Cagayan Santos Real Vinya F Gataran Cagayan Udasco Gerardine V Apari Cagayan Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology Andres Jared C. Lasam Cagayan Baltasar Ragedy Kate Solana Cagayan Batang Rex Lagundi Tuwao Cagayan Bulan Carmela Sabado Santiago City Burak Sheila Maybeek Igig Cagayan Kabukangan Heidi T. Nagilian Isabella Campos, Lovim Joshua S. Tugegarao City, Cagayan Castillo, Carl C. Rizal, Cagayan Serdeñola, Mark Joseph S. Quezon, Isabela De La Cruz, Joseph Kyle B. Bagao, Cagayan Jimenez, Jericho T. Cabagan, Isabela Madrid, Joshua C. 
to Gegarao City, Cagayan. Marilio David John P. Cabagan Isabella. Santos Gabriel Gerardo Nicolas B. III. Santa Ana, Cagayan. Tabangay Anthony C. Enrile, Cagayan. Two-year pharmacy aid course. Agoto Jessamie G. Apari, Cagayan. Bartolome Rebecca J. Bagao, Cagayan. Benavides Aliza Jade C. Gonzaga, Cagayan. Kuntapay Trisha May B. Enrile, Cagayan. Makuring Genesis V. Rizal, Cagayan. Nebres Kimberly G. Enrile, Cagayan. Simon Mel D. S. Rizal, Cagayan. Suyu Jean Kik C. Peña Blanca, Cagayan. Caregiving NC2. Jara Mark Kinley R. Gonzaga, Cagayan. Pagaduan Marivic D. Tugegarao City, Cagayan. Soriano Irving Harold Clifford S. Solana, Cagayan. Bachelor in Secondary Education. Banutan Judani Angel A. Tabuk City, Kalinga. Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. Bakay Gerard M. Nagilian Isabella. Bachelor of Science in Criminology. Bunagan Raymond M. Peña Blanca, Cagayan. De Dios Romnik A. Rizal, Cagayan. Bachelor of Science in Customs Administration, Azurin King Daniel, Tugegarao City, Cagayan. Mataverde, John Felix R. Nagilian Isabella. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Maglay Benedict E. and T. Tugegarao City, Cagayan. Bachelor of Science in Social Work. Flores Hana May, Santa Ana, Cagayan. Sabaldan Elaine Q, Peña Blanca, Cagayan. Bachelor of Science in Tourism, Gawani Jolina Joy B, Tuao, Cagayan. Congratulations, Batch 2021. College life was an unforgettable roller coaster ride. It was indeed a journey filled with laughter and tears. To be honest, it was never easy. Term exams, surprise quizzes, practical exams, recitations, and the worst of them was moving exam. That moment when you hear the bell, it was like our soul was separated from our body. Well, those were some of the reasons why our room was filled with laughter and tears while saying, Bawi na lang tayo sa midterm, sa semifinals, or sa finals. And the worst of them was, Bawi na lang tayo sa next semesters. And when thesis entered the picture, lots of friendship was broken. Do you still remember those scenarios? College life was not always about passing grades and excel in class. Intramurals and Foundation Day made our college life more memorable. Constant rival with the different departments was hilarious. But at the end of the day, we are still one. We are staying in the nest built by our mother eagle and protected by our father eagle. Four amazing years of memories were created in our beloved institution MCNP ISAP. This journey will not be a journey without the people who constantly supported us from day one up to this day where we are about to bid our goodbye to our nest, our home. On behalf of everyone, on behalf of everyone who is with me today, I would like to express how grateful we are to be part of this family. First of all, thank you to our creator, who made the possible possible. Thank you for this celebration. 
for being our source of strength and for being our light. To our families, thank you for being our source of everything. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to finish college, especially to our parents, our constant fuel who help us drive more even though the road is not as smooth as butter. Thank you for being our inspiration to do better and to be better. A special thank you to my parents, Mama Cora and Papa Roman, to my siblings, my Lola Lilia, and to my tito and titas. We owe you our success. Thank you to our deans and professors who became our second parent, our friend, and our shoulder to lean on. Thank you for the long patience you've given us. We might be a little hard-headed sometimes, but we are grateful for everything you've done for us. For the administrators and staffs who extended their hands to help us for four years, thank you so much. Fellow graduates and friends, we did it. Thank you for all the memories. We may not be able to walk with pride on the red carpet holding our parents while listening to the graduation march. But always remember, be grateful because we're all healthy. Being healthy is a priority. Despite our situation, we are able to have this virtual graduation. I know that this is not what we are expecting, but there's nothing we can do right now. Hug and kiss your parents while saying thank you and I love you. Thank you is not enough for their sacrifices. Today is the beginning of our journey to be their fuel in traveling the world. We may not be physically together celebrating this amazing milestone, but I can feel deep inside me how happy we are today. Once again, agyaman, mabalo, mabalat, salamat. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. A blessed full day to everyone. I am overwhelmed and privileged of speaking on behalf of all parents to give appreciation on the joyous event of our daughters and sons. It's time for us to give recognition to the faculty and staff who have been a part of their journeys, who have sacrificed, invested so much in medical colleges of Northern Philippines. It has been a long, maybe difficult, and not always enjoyable road, but it has been satisfying. Congratulations to everyone, very highly earned. Our experience with the COVID was vastly different. I recall that final day, shortly before the transition to online classes. In the campus halls, there were constant concern about how would this work. Will my son be able to concentrate? A transition from classroom to beds, work at our to jammies, and outing to breakout rooms. You wake up five minutes before class, make lunch while the lectures were going on. On here, the faint sounds of tricycles and the background of Zoom lessons. Despite the fact that entirely new an unknown educational form were swiftly presented to everyone. You were able to demonstrate the adaptation and experience that our times need in order to achieve your final objective. There were many challenges, but thanks to medical colleges of Northern Philippines, despite this pandemic, our children easily adapt the transition. Indeed, medical colleges of Northern Philippines passionately cares and considered well-being of its students. To medical colleges of Northern Philippines, thank you so much for creating such enjoyable learning atmosphere. Thank you so much for everything you do for your students who are taking time if they need to understand things and giving extra help to learn when they don't understand them. I am grateful for your dedicated TED instructor. To all the graduates, you are graduating in the midst of a global pandemic. Congratulations on your graduation.
I am wishing you every success in this new chapter of your life. May I request my fellow graduates to stand up and raise your right hand in the form of pledging and follow after me. We, the graduates of Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines, pledge to you, Alma Mater dear, that we shall uphold thy honor, thy symbol, and thy name to the best of our abilities wherever faith may take us. In the road of life, we shall forever remember thy teachings in the Spirit of God as our guide. We shall take pride of the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines as one that gave us hope for a better life. So now, we finally pledge to serve our fellow men in the precepts of humility for the glory of God and our country. So help us, God. May I request my fellow Isapian graduates to please stand and raise your right hand in the form of pledging and follow after me. We, the graduates of International School of Asia and the Pacific, pledge to you, Alma Mater dear, that we shall uphold thy honor, thy symbol, and thy name to the best of our abilities and to whenever fate may take us. In the road of life, we shall forever remember thy teachings in the Spirit of God as our guide. We shall take pride of the International School of Asia and the Pacific as one that gave us hope for a better life. So now, we finally pledge to serve our fellow men in the percept of humility. For the glory of God and our country. So help us, God. May I request our graduates to please stand and raise your right hand in the form of pledging and follow after me. I state your name, a graduate of the Medical Colleges of Northern Philippines, do hereby solemnly pledge that I shall discharge my duties and responsibilities to the best of my ability as a member of MCNP Alumni Association. I further solemnly swear to uphold its laws, keep the ideals of my alma mater, and to keep the MCNP culture of excellence for the glory of God and our country. So help me God. Congratulations. May I request the ESAP graduates to please stand and raise your right hand in the form of pledging and follow after me. I, a graduate of International School of Asia and the Pacific, do hereby solemnly pledge that I shall discharge my duties and responsibilities to the best of my ability as a member of the ESAP Alumni Association. I further solemnly swear to uphold its bylaws keep the ideals of my alma mater, and to keep the ESAP culture of excellence for the glory of God and our country. So help me God. Oh, 
Let's 